Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to do another haul for you. These are things, I believe almost all of it was from an estate sale I went to this past weekend. I drove an hour. I had seen pictures earlier in the week and I knew they had vintage toys. But I decided not to go Thursday on the first day and... Um, when I went Saturday for the half price sale, a lot of the toys, of course, that I would have been interested in were gone, but I did get one of the main things that I wanted to get there, which was Vintage Fisher Price Little People. Now, I have tons between, I went to another estate sale a couple weeks ago, no, a yard sale, and they had a box of Little People um, that I picked up. I want to say $30 or $40 for it, and then Noel. Farm Girl Scavenger sent me a gift of a ton of Fisher Price Little People, and then I picked up some more this weekend. So, yeah, I need to redo my wall, and I think I'm going to, I have a shelf up there that you guys can barely see the bottom of. I might put a few of the sets up there just so I can enjoy them for a little bit. I'll show you the one that I really want to keep for a while. But one of the First things I'm going to show, we stopped at a thrift store here in our town and um, picked up a bunch of clothes. They were having a clearance sale on clothes, but I did find some vintage toys that I'll go ahead and show you guys. I think she charged me, I want to say a dollar or less. To, I got a bunch of littles. Um, this, I just looked, Fourth of July bear. It is Walmart. Look how cute. Very clean. I'm thinking $15 to $20 for it. And then, of course, Cuddle Wit. Look how cute. And it still has its original tag. Soft and cuddle. Cuddly. Um, just cute. I'll probably list it maybe $20, $25. It's nice size with its tags. Then this. Advertising Plush. Look at that. Fisher Sandwich Mouse. Probably $10 to $12. This is Russ Berry. His name is Livingston. Almost looks like a Hush Puppies. Probably my bread and butter. Probably like eight or so for it. Picked up a Boyd's Bear just because. Very cute. Again, these are usually bread and butter, eight to 12. This is Dakin. I think it was supposed to make sounds, but of course it doesn't anymore. Um, but still, I'll list it and just say the sound box does not work. And then this. This intrigued me. It is... cannot read it. Wood by Products. Made in Japan. I can't see a manufacturer. But it is... Definitely feels wool to me. It's stiff. So definitely this will not be shipped in a poly or a bubble. It will need to be boxed. But just adorable. Probably still only like $12 to $15. But we'll see. It's in very nice condition. And I think she charged me $3 for this. I always pick up these Fisher Price. I think Play School does it also. The older tape players. Um, the cassette tape players. Uh, there was a time when I was selling these probably for about 50 bucks. I haven't found one in a while and I didn't check check comps yet. But these, today's toy cassette players are easily broken. These are tough. They're going to withstand normal use from a child. A lot of times you also will see that the paint starts, especially the buttons that they use the most but fingers crossed that this works. Um, and I always keep a cassette or two over there that I can use to test these. And then I'll put it, I'll take, now that I'm doing the videos to show that things are working, I'll put it on my YouTube channel that I put all of my toy testing on. I think this is the only non-toy stuff in this haul. Robert picked this up. It is Oklahoma Joe's leather apron. I guess it's for grilling. Kind of funny. How much did you pay? I think 
to and what were your comps that you were noticing? 20 to 30 to 40. It's been a while yeah. since I looked at it. I picked that up when I was in Missouri and I got buried. Oh, okay. And then this came from, in my previous video, we had stopped at a yard sale and paid like $60 for a bunch of stuff. And this came from that. Um, please, I hope it works. But, fuck. Above all, under cabinet, toaster warmer. So, did you check comps on this? I did. And we've forgotten. So I'll put it over. Oh, wait, that way we'll have a comp on this if we can find one. I'm hoping it's the problem is look how big it is. Again, if the box makes a big difference, of course, we'll keep it in this box. But if it doesn't, then that way we can find a box that's going to fit it perfectly or Robert can build one. I will probably leave it in that box anyway because I look. On the oh, it's, there, got the, it's got the styrofoam, which will really protect it. So, yep. Yep, but it's, I'm hoping that it doesn't require a whole lot of cleaning. It'd be nice if it was new in the box. Um, but I think we paid $5 for this at that sale. I'm hoping over 100 or so, but we'll see. I think it was more like in the 50, but. That's a lot of work for 50 to pack that up. Take that out. <clears throat> Take what out? That out. I scrunched up my nose on that. I had to look after I saw your scrunched up nose when I said 50. I had to, I had to look up the price because I didn't want to put up with a scrunched up nose all day. <laughs> but one's listed for about 165. Um, one sold for how much? 50 ish? 40, or 40, I think it was. 40. Was it in the box? It didn't show a box. Okay. So. And that could just be somebody who hasn't done the comps. Of course, I always check Terapeak on these type items so that I can see what's happening in the last year. So, all right. The rest of this stuff is from the estate sale that I drove to an hour on Saturday. Um, I'll start with the little people sets. I don't particularly care for the big pieces now. Um, but what I'm buying them for is all the little pieces that were with it. So I did pick up the big garage. It does have issues. Unfortunately, something like this I would normally have put in my booth to resell, but we're closing it down this week. Um, it's just, it's, it's just become an expense instead of, you know, a way for us to, um, you know, resell some of the items that, like this too large really to list on eBay um, but when it becomes an expense then it's just it's not doable anymore we were making some money and being able to get rid of the things that I didn't want to put on eBay um, and, and, and recoup recover, a little money right, recoup while little, paying for the booth and help, you know keeping them having a stocked booth over there and drawing yeah. being a draw of different kind of people into the booth it was a traffic center for them because we offered different items and than, than other people offered but, but you know, two months we were, in a row yeah if we were making if we were making 50 bucks a month to recover some of our some of the costs on this kind of thing it would be worth it but no so i don't know i may go ahead and try to find a box for it i, I that's been my new mentality even if it's not in the condition that I normally prefer when I list something. I'm learning very quickly since I started doing these videos that damaged stuff still sells. Um, so we'll see, you know, even if I sell this, I paid $10, but it came with a bunch. I've got them all dumped in a bag, a bunch of the cars and people and the garage lift and all of that stuff. That's where the money is. But I may go ahead and try to sell this if I, if I can find a box. I swear, I think this is the third school that I found. But see, this is the example. I think some of the cars. These are some of the cars. This does have the trays. I did, again, I paid $10 for it, but it does have the tray. Hopefully all the magnets. But I really think I have a bag of magnets here somewhere. So hopefully I can find it. Um, but a lot of times this should have had a sticker on it. So it's all gone. It does have this one. 
um, overall good condition, I think. So I may just go ahead and list it too. The problem is, is look, it does have some, I guess, mildewy damage there. But normally you see lots of damage to these corners and it doesn't have that. But this is the set I want to keep for a little while. And I have a lot of the accessories. Again, I paid $10 for it. This is the Zoo. I think one of the vehicles you saw in the last one goes with this. But I love this. I don't think I've had this set before. Now, I had a, had a lot of the sets. But I ended up selling them before I moved here. Um, which I regret, but I did. But this one, I'm going to try to make room and put it up there. Here's the tray that goes to the school and the garage lift. Some of the animals that go to the zoo. I think I have the parrots maybe listed still. This is one of the hard to find food trays that go to the zoo. The tree, some more of the vehicles for it. So I was thrilled that that was still there. I picked this up. I think she charged me a dollar, which would have been 50 cents, but I really wanted it for this, of course. This is Fisher Price Little People. These are called the Bigger Little People. And I've got a couple of them up there. When they initially showed the pictures, there were tons of dolls. Not that I buy a lot of the, the vintage dolls, but I did pick up a few. And then they had a lot of vintage plush, but most of them are dirty, which that's going to just be extra work for me. But a lot of them were either a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and all of this was half price. I just, I had to save it all. Had to. This is Animal Toys, dated 1985. Most of these I'll probably list in my bread and butter, like eight to twelve. But sometimes I'm surprised and, you know, it might be 15 to 20. This one has a name on it. It says Cotton by Plow Inc. 1993. Look how cute. All of these I'll just throw in my washing machine. And then they have two days of spa sitting on my couch waiting to drive. Dry. This was only a, a quarter originally 50 cents, but this is um, Dakin Pillow Pets. It needs washed. It doesn't, it's got, I'm going to have to read the tag better when I have my glasses on because it might be like a paper thing. So I'll try to hand wash the best I can, but if it's stuffed with like nut shells or like a paper product, then I usually, well, I won't put them in the washing machine. Vintage, it kind of makes me think of Knickerbocker. Oh yeah, look, Knickerbocker, Animals of Distinction. The, I think this just needs tied up, but look how cute that is. Again, I'm gonna have to wash it though. And then this is Shalom. Shalom Toy Company. I pick this up on occasion. I will list this on eBay, but I've had problems trying to list stuff like this, especially if I use the word cigar, cigar or anything like that. Um, but more than likely, I'll just keep it on eBay. I did pay $2.50 for it though, but look how cute. I'm hoping maybe $20, $25 for it. Now this is from the same series that Rodney Reindeer um, and probably the same time frame. This is a little sheep plush by Hallmark made in the 80s. I think, yeah, it says Sherman. I'm not sure if it went to a nativity set. I don't know if they had a nativity set. For some reason, I'm thinking they might have and this would have gone with it. Bread and butter, again, probably 6 to $10, but it does need a bath. Now look, this is funny because I was just watching Bolo Buddy's video yesterday of some of her, I'm not sure if it was the Bolo one or the bread and butter one, 
But I think she had this rabbit that she shared with everybody because I remember the sneakers. It is by Smile International. I would say, yeah, right there, the 80s. Again, after it gets a bath, um, I'm thinking maybe about 40 or so. I'll list it for if I can get it clean. Like It's got quilted body. I don't remember if hers had a quilted body. This one does, but I just think, yeah, probably about 40. This is applause. It says Emily. Look how cute. But again, it has these. These I don't mind washing in the wash, but of course I'll have to take the paper off. I need to buy, I have a tagging gun. I need to buy short tabs like this and then I would just reattach it. But a lot of times I just set it by it and include it um, in my pictures and then just ship it that way. But again, I paid a dollar for it. This is Fun World. I just bought it because it's this like nylon type body. Did have its tag, but it does need washed. This was one of the dolls. So I paid a dollar fifty for her. She has the ponytail that does come out. I did test her and it does go in, which is a good thing. I don't, I, I want to say probably $12 to $15 on her, um, but I may take the outfit off and get it washed up and sell it separately. Not sure yet. And then Baby All Gone. I've bought her before. Again, she's probably, I just, I had to get her because I just had to save her. If she had had her, um, like accessories, she would have been worth a whole lot more. I'm thinking probably 10 to $15 on her. This one intrigued me. She was only 50 cents, but I just, I liked her eyes. Something about it told me I need to grab her, but I'll have to do some more research. These are play school, like the babies. This is, um, yeah, it says Disney babies. Goofy and Mickey. I may keep them as a lot. I'm thinking like $15 for the two of them. Everything's fat and dirty. This is Jarvis. Paid a quarter for it. Um, it's Russ. I think it should be okay to wash it. Well, look, that's felt eyes. We'll see what I can do. It'll need to be hand washed though. Isn't Jarvis the name of the AI in that second rate superhero? I don't know. Iron Man? Don't know. This is why. You're just so focused on what you're doing, you're ignoring me. Never mind. I don't love you either. It's all good. <laughs> Jarvis. Yeah, that's the who Iron Man talks to. This is AI. Oh. See. I, I've watched them, but it's missed, not my thing. And you missed the part where I called him a second-rate superhero. Oh, I like Iron Man. Not of all the characters. Although I like Hulk, too, because I like the actor. What's his name that plays Hulk? Mark Buffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo, Ruffalo. I like him. He's mighty handsome. That's what you get. 1979 Dandy Imports. Look how cute. And you guys know I like to pick up rabbits with carrots. Deluxe Playthings. I'm ignoring him. Look how cute. Again, bread and butter. This is what I really liked because I've sold some of these. Look. There's more. All of these were either, some of them it says a dollar, some said 75 cents, some said 50 cents. So it was half price. These are called the Moody Cuties. But look, because all of them have faces that show emotion. I think I sold, 
I want to say I sold one of them recently for like $20. I don't remember. Oops. But look. Here's more. Look at their faces. Most of these seem to most of these seem to be sad. Oh, look. These two are happy laughing. One of them lost his headband. And then two more. Look at them. I'll probably put the, well, several of these look the same. So it'll be a multi-quantity listing. And then some of them I may put um, together, but maybe not. I don't know. A lot of times I don't make up my mind until I'm actually sitting there processing and doing a little bit of research on them. And I have no clue, but I got it because it says Pleasant Company on the bottom. I'm assuming something was over this. It's some kind of light, but I paid 50 cents for it and it's Pleasant Company, which is American Girl. Gons Brothers Wrinkles. These are hand puppets. There's a whole series of these in different colors. Some are boys, some are girls. Usually they have a big old stuffed bone that goes in this pocket. Obviously this one's missing, but I only paid 50 cents for it. Here's, put the hand in here. I think I usually sell these for like 20 to $25. Then this is TB Trading Company. Paid $1.50 for it, but it's vintage. It has its paper tags. I'll probably probably list it like $15 to $20. Here's another one of the dolls I picked up. She's missing her shoes. I wish it would have had her shoes. Um, I think she's like a magic makeup or something like that doesn't sell for a whole lot i really basically picked her up because she does have her outfit on and that might help some i'm thinking probably about twelve dollars or so decided to try this is vintage probably mattel i can't read Aladdin. It did have its magic carpet. Not quite sure how it all works. Unfortunately, I, I'm hoping maybe it's down in the bag, but he is missing one of his shoes. I'm thinking probably only like $15 to $20 for it too. He does, his outfit does have a lot of wear. There was lots of rabbits. This one I loved because it has the little bib and it's a, like a, it says Pika Bunny. It is Gerber products. I have picked this up. I think a lot of times they're Atlanta. Atlanta Novelty also. Um, probably 12 to 15 on it. A couple more dolls. I, can't, I think most of these are Mattel. I just had to get them. Made in China. I think, yeah, Mattel. Look, she's got her earrings. Her shoes, oh wait, they aren't coming off. They're painted on. Not quite sure what she does. I'll try to find comps and have all of them on here. I'm going to be working on these today. So I can either have my listing or a comp to show you. Again, another just cute one. I tried to save the cute ones. There were a lot of, like the plasticky or the ceramic dolls and I don't like them or porcelain this one in th I'm sure it's some kind of clone but look at her and she's got this little button on her belly not quite sure about all of that I don't know but I'm hoping she's something I think they charged me a dollar this intrigued me it is MTY International, which uh, more and more I'm seeing if they have paper tags, almost always they're Walmart. So I have a feeling before Walmart was doing Walmart branded toys, they were doing like Dandy International, MTY International, TB Trading Company. Um, but yeah, this one was 50 cents. But it just not sure what I'm going to do about the feather here because it definitely needs cleaned. 
But I just loved it because it had this little outfit on. And look at the eyelashes. A couple more. Just had to save them. This is Russ. Little dog holding a Christmas stocking. 50 cents. I'm not sure about this one. Maybe a treasure. It is... Avon but it is again that nylon material needs a bath I'm assuming it like stuffed down in this bag as a, like a surprise probably 12 to 15 this is cuddle wit again just love this a couple of more Commonwealth look at that face $1.50 says funny bunny it's purple so of course it had to come home with me I'm hoping this one's like 20 25 dollars this is Russ again look at that sealed with a kiss and one more oh wait no had to grab it the hat's gonna cause me issues though as far as trying to get it clean it is MTY International. Why did it seem like it got dark? All right. And then these are by Dakin. They're called Frou-Frous. F-R-O-U. Frou-Frou. I've picked these up a couple of times. I don't find them very often. They're probably like $12 to $15. There may be a few exceptions. But I just had to have it. And then I think this is the last thing in my bag. I picked this up. I think they charged me a quarter, but it was a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle storybook. It didn't seem to have any writing in it. So I'm hoping maybe six to ten dollars for it, but I might be surprised. All right, that's it. Now I've really got a lot of work to do here in the next couple of days. And then we we hit the yard sales again this weekend. All right. Get to work, everybody. Bye.